Gotcha. Ooh. Walleye? Oh, that's a oh. big one. Jesus. Okay, this is this is good. This is a good fish. Oh, it's got the rat over here. No, no, it doesn't. That could be a pike. It didn't look like a pike on the no, graph, though. Do you want assistance, or do you got it? I, I should be able to get it. Okay, this is making me think it's a pike. pike. Dang it, boys. Well, we shall see what this is. It's coming out. Oh my god, <laughs> it's a tank walleye. Uh uh. Yeah, it's huge. Whoo, boy, howdy, and welcome back to another one. Guys, do I have a little story for you? So, as you guys can tell, I'm on the ice right now. And you may think, you oh, know, he's in North Dakota, he's in South Dakota, he's in Minnesota, he's in Wisconsin. No, for some reason, it's March. Me and the Fort Peck boys decided to make another trip. Now, it is the morning of our day one, and what you guys missed was the travel. So travel went pretty well. We traveled last night exactly like we did the very first trip we did. If you guys haven't seen my first Fort Peck trip, I'll put a little thing right here for you guys to click on and watch. But we traveled all night with energy drinks, and uh, we somehow made it, slept for about two, three hours at the boat launch, and then we came onto the ice. Now, last time we were here, there was absolutely no snow. And as you guys can tell right now, probably, there is a lot of snow here. So it makes it 10 times dangerous coming out here. Uh, the cracks are really hard to see, and it's hard to see the quality of ice. So if you guys come out here when there's snow, you gotta be super careful. All of us have almost died probably like five times today. I like fell into about like my kneecaps, uh, Dustin did the exact same thing, Sweary fell in about two times, and so did Carter, and Carter actually got flung off the trailer. Um, and then we almost sunk the four-wheeler. Sorry, Mark, if you're watching this. Um, that was pretty fun. There was like a little floating chunk, and uh, well, it became floating once we went over it. And yeah, these heaves are absolutely terrible. But we were thinking for the next four days, we're gonna ice camp out here. We brought a lot of stuff. And when I mean a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. You guys will see when we get back to the camp. We set up a place, uh, like kind of like a base camp. We brought Dustin's giant Eskimo. We have four cots in there. And I'm gonna show you all of you guys that in a little bit. We wanted to set the camp up and then come out here and fish and then go back at night and try to walleye fish. So during the day, we're gonna do Lakers at night walleyes. But we made it out to spot number one. Today, it's gonna be myself, Jacob Sweary, Carter Collins, and Dustin out here, four of us. We brought the old trailer and the four-wheeler, as you guys can see in the background. That's what we're gonna be doing for the next four days, ice camping, walleye fishing, and lake trout fishing, of course. But guys, before we go any farther, I just wanna say a huge shout out to these guys right here, the Guggen Squad, they helped us get here, they paid for gas, all that good stuff. If you wanna check out any of their stuff, it'll be linked down below, spring is upon us, and I'm excited to break the long rods out. But we decided to do one last ice send, and it all starts today. <laughs> Pretty lit. Damn, new auger, who dis? Yeah. All right, yep, Dustin's here popping holes already. Carter's here, checking them. And then Mr. Jacob Sweary, the man, the myth, look at him. All right, enough talking. I'm gonna get the GoPro strapped on and we're gonna start hole hopping. Lakers coming in hot. First drop, boys. First drop of the trip. Always good. You gotta love it. Well, guys, just a little update. Uh, we fished for probably about two hours to an hour and a half and didn't really have much action. We marked a couple that seemed aggressive but none of them really wanted to finish the deal and eat. So we decided, let's go back to camp. I'll show you guys the camp, and we're gonna make some lunch and then go back out for the evening bite. So this is what our camp looks like for the next four days. We're gonna be living in that son of a gun. Um, we got the trailer. This is the same as last time. Brought the boards and all the stuff. The wheeler, and then, yeah, you guys already seen this. We had to bring a lot of things. Uh, I brought solar panels for the jackery to charge things. 
because technically we're off the grid we don't have power but we did bring some gas and a generator as well to charge all the good stuff and you come over here we got some bins and whatnot full of food a propane tank sweary eating what are those called that's uh a blonde brownie mm -hmm. carter eating his limited edition oh uh, limited edition. Bar. packaging what an absolute flex bro yeah. but this is the biggest flex bringing the old black stone out on the ice oh yes and then i'm gonna show you guys the inside we got mats we, that's a huge necessity when you're ice camping the mats and we even had it a lot so we might double stack inside of there uh then we made kind of like an area where you can stomp your feet off or whatever and we're gonna come inside here now ah it is an absolute mess right now which we are going to have to clean up but we fit four cots in here this one's on its side right now uh for the time being until we go to bed so we're gonna have a cot right here carter's cot my cot and then sweary's freaking king size cot which makes no sense why he brought it, it takes up half of the freaking house and then we got jackeries water stuff to kind of dry out more mats we got the minnows another jackery the fan which has been a huge addition to the fleet and obviously the best lights in the world to light it up so this is what we're going to call home and yeah it's not a bad setup if i could say anything um it'd be nice to maybe attach like another separate hub right here and in that one we could put maybe one more bed and that could be more of like the jigging area since there is four cots in here it's gonna be really tough to fish but i think the plan is we're gonna do two rattle reels overnight and then maybe have another hole so if someone wants to jig in here we'll, we'll see how that plays out tonight once we get back here but like i said we're gonna cook these brats eat them and then head back out it's a damn good wiener. Oh, oh, he came off right the hole. Oh, rip. Like two feet under the hole, he got off. Damn. Nah, it was small as hell. Well, fellers, that would be the first action for me. I'm sitting on the wheeler being lazy. Hooked up. I got him probably about two feet under the hole and it popped off. I didn't really get a good hook set into him anyways, so that's a bummer. I, it didn't feel giant, so I'm not I'm not mad at all, but it's just fun seeing a fish finally and catching one. Well, almost catching one. Whew. Well, guys, we just made it back to base camp, and uh, that's going to conclude Lake Trout Day 1. It was pretty <clears throat> pretty tough. I think we only landed one. Jacob caught it. I had one on. Uh, Jacob also had another one on, but we lost both of those. So rest in peace, kind of tough. Uh, this is kind of starting out just like the last trip did where it was slow right away, but then that last day was super good. But let me show you guys what's going on at camp right now. So everything's pretty much just laying around in shambles, which is you know kind of expected. And uh, this is the house right here. We got the heater finally going stuff. We also set up this guy right here. This is gonna be kind of like, oh, we can take a poopy in here or cook food. And right now, Carter, what are you doing? Uh, just chefing up some burgers, you know? The boys and I are hungry after a long day on the ice, not catching much, but some warm burgers should be the ticket and maybe a couple walleye in the shack tonight. So we'll you never see what know, happens, man. you never know. Oh yeah, those look good. You know I brought the seasoning as well, John. Yeah, it smells super good in your little shack here. All right, guys, Car just got done making some lovely cheeseburgers. Uh, don't know if y'all can see that, but he killed it. We're going for a taste test here. Sorry about the wind also. I've been looking forward to this all day. Oh my God. Carter did good. We're just gonna hang out now. See if we catch some fish. But man, these 
cheeseburgers are good. I love Fort Peck. Dude, we're in the lion's den. <laughs> well, that kind of sums up what's going on right now. The boys are packed in here. I'm literally titling this video Four Boys, <laughs> One Tent. Jacob's right there. I'm right here. Carter's in the small cot right there. And then Dustin's on the end. Got the rattle reel down. A heater over there. A heater right here, which is probably not safe. And then we got a Jackery with a lot of things plugged into it. I don't know if that's going to last all night. And then they also have another one. What did you show them? Our carbon monoxide detector? Yeah, don't roast me in the comments. Boys. It has to be plugged into work. But, uh, yeah, you could say we are packed in here pretty good right now. Um, we're going to have that one line down. We might put another line down where Jacob is jigging right now. We're just hanging out. It's almost 8 p.m. Haven't marked a single fish, but who knows? Maybe it's a night bite. You, you just never know, right, yeah, Jacob? No. We're going to hang out and go to bed. Marking. And uh, I'll grab the old oh. iPhone if something crazy My happens. Cop rope. Again. <laughs> Again. This cot is lit. What the f is up, YouTube? On today's episode, we're going to be licking our. Oh. Oh, good morning, everybody. It's the ah! next... Well, good morning, everybody. It's the next day. And uh, woke up to a nice breakfast made by Carter. Got some bacon right here. That's good. Mmm. Bacon, eggs, deer sausage, or goose sausage. Yeah. It is. What time is it, Dustin? It's 8. So, we got to get going. We're going to eat this. And then, hopefully, catch some fish today. Doubt it. I doubt we'll catch anything, but stay tuned. We might just catch one if we're lucky. Yeah. Let's go. Do we got a little slimy guy? You see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah I see it. Hey. Mondo, John. Mondo. <laughs> We're on him. <laughs> wow, dude. Congrats on your first pike. Dude, it's so pregnant. <laughs> well, we decided to come back in after lake trout fishing this morning. We didn't catch anything or mark anything. It was blowing like Bill Lowen out there. So we came back to the house, we had a rattle reel down, and we're game plan for the evening bite. A freaking pike came over and Dustin caught it. That's the most action we've had all day. But so far, four pecks kicking our butt. I think we're gonna go set the house up somewhere and sit inside and jig the rest of the day. But it was cool catching fish. It's time to go back in the cold. Oh, can you get another one? Hey, Jacob, wanna move for a second? So oh, I'm just this. Oh, yeah. grabbing this him fish stuff? for him. Ooh, let me see this hook set. Do you have oh, him? Yeah. I do have it. Oh, it does feel oh, pretty decent. Oh, 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 this is not good. This is no. not good. Oh, yes. Ah! Unwrap it, unwrap it. You just boogie. John, it's got to be 50 plus inches. <laughs> oh, my God. That's, it's so that's large. not a small fish. <laughs> it's pretty small. <laughs> it's a grande burrito, dude. I can't even get him up the hole. Goodness me, oh my. Whoa, whoa! What do you think? Yeah! 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 That is why I came to Fort Peck, dude. Thank you. Oh, good. We were about to leave to go lake fishing, and what do you know? Another rattle reel. The pike say pike. stay. Yeah, the, the pike, pike are saying just to stay in here the rest of the day. So that's kind of lit. We were hoping there's gonna be walleyes here. Unfortunately, we haven't seen walleyes, but you know, this is better than nothing. No. Well, guys, we just got back to the shack after evening of fishing. Um, you know, the biggest W tonight for myself and Carter was we did get the heater started. So that was good. We weren't sitting there in misery. Um, we didn't catch anything to really mark much. We had maybe a couple marks that really didn't do nothing. And then about, like I said, 150 to 200 yards away, Dustin and Sweary caught four tonight, but landed more. So I think the plan is tomorrow morning, we're gonna go back out to that spot where they were and fish that for the morning. But right now it's time to make some dinner and we're just gonna do burgers again, just because we're kind of lazy. Well guys, 
just made it back in the shack. I didn't film myself eating burgers because I did that yesterday and you guys are getting kind of bored of us just eating in this video because there's a lack of fish catching. Rest in peace. But we're in here hanging out right now. Four dudes, four eggplant emojis, a lot of farts, and one tent. Sweary's on his little hammock there. And uh, funny story, he actually broke. So he broke his yesterday. And then... So Sweary broke his cot yesterday, yeah. then he sat on mine and broke mine today. So these two cots are still kind of like eh, iffy. Sorry about that. Carter is next to me, still on his I'm low stuck grinder. Between these two. Yeah, rest in peace, brother. Yeah, good. What up, brother? And Dustin's over there. Make sure you guys attacking more. Stay active. Playing cash, clash, or something? Or? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make sure you guys get your attacks in even on trips. Heater's going on over there. He has it on top. And rattle reel's down, right, Dust? Dude, you never know when a, a slimy snaker could swim through. That is true. And then underneath my butt, I feel my jackery absolutely getting after it. It is humming like a humming guy. Yeah, that's kind of the deal we are right now. We're just it's humming big like chilling. And uh, I'm going to get some sleep. And if something crazy happens like a rattle reel, I'll wake up and do that. But if not, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for day three. Where hopefully I can land a fish. Uh... Yeah, this is pretty, I kind of expected this. I probably won't catch anything until the very last moment on the last day. So stay tuned. What up guys? It's, this is day three. This is day three. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. 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 This is the morning of day three. And uh, we're at that spot that Jacob and Dustin caught fish at. And we're gonna see if we can catch some fish. Carter and I are in this shack, the same as yesterday. And they're literally probably like 20 yards that way. So we're gonna get jigging. We're hitting that early morning bite for once. We haven't hit that yet this trip, and hope we get something. What the f you think you're going, huh? Oh, oh, oh! There's two. There's two. Oh, you're right. This one's still chasing, dude. God damn. Oh, he spit up a Cisco. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. Alright, this one's going on the ice. Nice little eater. Um, there's like three fish down there right now, so I'm going to drop back down. It's pretty crazy right now. Oh, at the bottom. Oh, he crushed it, dude. Should I reel up or keep jeans? I don't know. It feels pretty good. Oh, oh, God, Dustin. Keep going. Dude, this thing feels pretty good. like in or your lines like in my eyelid right now of course oh. 
back to the bottom. Literally. Yes, sir. A bad lake trout. That's a fat one right there. Yeah, that is. There she is, guys. Freaking beast. This is a nice fish. That's a big boy. Whew. Nice work, bud. Hey guys, little update. It is now currently 11 a.m. and Carter and I did not have really any action uh, this morning. Dustin and Sweary, I believe, landed five or four fish. So again, we got outfished. Um, again, it's day three and I haven't caught a single thing. So rest in peace, but I think the game plan is we're gonna pack up, go back to camp, pack that up, drive back to the truck, go into town, get propane, unpack and pack and then go back out to a new spot on a completely different side of the lake and do an ice camping send for about a day and a half out there i'm hoping the fishing on that end is going to be a lot better than this end because this is nothing like what it was like three weeks ago which conditions change and you just gotta adapt so hopefully this move isn't all for nothing got some glitters Well, guys, it's been a little bit. The last time I saw you, I said we we're going to take down camp and get propane and come back out and uh, do some fishing. Well, we came, we got propane, came back out. We decided to search for some uh, Lakers and no luck whatsoever. This is the end of day three, man, and we only have one day left. And everybody's dignity is pretty low and uh, motivation is very low. We played around with the idea of heading back to North Dakota and doing some fishing. Uh, so we're actually thinking about doing it. I think and we're gonna pack up now get on the road and go back and stir Try to make fry, try bro. to salvage this video for you guys before we leave. We're gonna make some stir fry, which I'll vlog that but It just goes to show you how much uh, you know fishing can vary someday. It might be awesome another day It would just be terrible for me. It's terrible a lot of the times, but you know these guys usually have better days than I do so we ended up on the trip with Justin Scott three and Jacob caught six. So nine fish total in three days. Pretty freaking brutal. Carter and I, fat donuts. What do you do, man? What do you do? We're watching a sunset though. And that's pretty cool. Last one we'll see till next year probably. One thing we need now, John. Some fish. Oh yeah, as you guys can see, Carter's starting to stir fry. We got the eggs right there, then we have chicken, vegetables, soy sauce over there, and the rice is somewhere behind them, but we are chefing. But check out what's going on behind Carter, okay? You come over here, and uh, yeah, we are packing World's up. Best Tetris player ever, baby. Oh. World two-time world champ. Yeah. We're packing up as well. Um, it is currently about like 7, 7.30ish probably, and uh, yeah, the plan is we're going to eat this and then we're going to get on the road and hopefully get to our destination at like 1 a.m. or so and then fish the next eh, day and a half. So you guys stay tuned. Let's just keep this adventure rolling. Look how good this looks. John, you like that? Mm. that Whoa. Oh, so hot. Oh my God. Straight fire. It's pretty good. I can lie. This might be the best meal so far. Yeah, this definitely takes the cake. Nice and salty. Mm. Love it. So we're going to eat the rest of this meal. And let me show you the progress so far that Dustin and Jacob have gotten on the packing. Yep, this is the trailer. It is, I mean, wham full of stuff. But we still have the bed over there, so that's good. I'm going to devour this food and then... Honestly, probably won't film again until tomorrow morning or when we get to the destination tonight. So I'll see you in like roughly <coughs> seven, five to six hours. Well, guys, it has been, like I said, seven hours later and now we're back at the home water. It's going to be doing some fishing. We just got set up, drove through the night. Shout out to Carter for driving. 
Um, let me show you the setup. So right now we're gonna do shifts, or I don't know, whenever someone gets sick of fishing. Two people are gonna fish right here. Uh, we got the finicky fooler right there, the lav scope heater, door where you walk in. Mr. Jacob Sweary and I are taking the first shift. And turn over this way, this is the sleeping quarters. So we got Mr. D Wolf over here and Snowmaster Carter Collins and the best driver in the world. Heater back there, and yeah, that's the setup. It is currently 5.55 a.m. So we're gonna try to get a little morning bite action here. And uh, hopefully I can catch a fish in this video because it's been three days. Well, technically this is day four. This is day four. We were supposed to be in Montana. It was so cheeks we left. Um, haven't caught a fish in four days. So hopefully today is the magic one. All right, brothers, what's up? Current time check. 7:20, and uh it just got light enough in here to start filming jacob and i are fishing and we have two walleyes and a perch which i'll show you real quick oh yeah the boys are harvesting and uh i caught another perch that was too small let it go and we marked two schools of perch which is good to see but i couldn't film any of that just because it wasn't bright enough in here to see and it still might not even be bright enough but i'm gonna start filming and hopefully I can get something on film for you guys. But it was fun reeling in a fish. Dude, I feel like I haven't been able to breathe the last like two days. Oh. Walleye? Oh, that's a oh. big one. Jesus. Okay, this is this is good. This is a good fish. Oh, it's got the rat on you. No, no, it doesn't. That could be a pike. It didn't look like a pike on the no, graph, though. Do you want assistance, or do you got it? I, I should be able to get it. Okay, this is making me think it's a pike. pike. Dang it, boys. Well, we shall see what this is. It's coming out. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a tank walleye. Uh-uh. Yeah, it's huge. It's it's really big, sweetie. Really? Yeah, it's really big. Oh my god. It's 26. Maybe 27. It's freaking massive. Oh, is it a... John. <gasps> John! <laughs> That's like a 30-incher. <laughs> what the John? Heck? John? What the f Oh my god, it's so heavy. <laughs> Ten pounder. <laughs> we'll take him like that. We'll take him like that. Alright guys, 28 incher. It's a nice fish. It's freaking beautiful. We're gonna take a picture real quick. Alright boys, she's gonna go back down. Freaking Perch, we got a school here. Okay. All right, so we can only get one eater perch out of there. Um, for some reason, the other three didn't want to eat. But this morning's going pretty good so far. Um, all the fish are coming from the right side, so I'm literally cutting off Sweary. So I feel kind of bad about it. He's gonna let me catch one more fish, and then we're gonna switch sides, and then I'll let him catch a fish. Oh, John. Oh, Sweary's crack, maybe. Oh, look, it doesn't want to eat. Hey, John, I'm on. <laughs> John, I'm on. So he's correct. Oh, don't worry, guys. Oh, Birch, Birch. Oh my God. No. <laughs> don't, yeah, baby, yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> Swear he wasn't gonna lose him. He is using 20 pound braid and 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. So I think he's good with that little perch. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 
What was that? I don't know. My rod slipped out of my hand. <laughs> oh, it's still alive. 100% bike. Yeah. Oh, here comes another one. Well, this is what I Oh my. Okay, maybe it's a bike. It's going to eat my dead stick. Maybe not. Oh, he's going to go look at his buddy. Getting real dumb. Is that a wall? Can't see. The other one's literally looking at it, no, bro. This, I think this is a wall. Yeah. It's right on it's right onto the ice. Yeah, it's a either wall. There we go. Nice little eater walleye. We're marking another big fish right now. We think That's it's that a, same one. Yeah, we think it's a, a what do you call it? A northern. And then this walleye came in at the same time too, so. That's lit. Put it in his mouth. John, dude, what am I at? Dude, what? 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 what are you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second one you've done like that, bro. Oh, it's still alive. Oh, this is the one we were marking earlier. It's like on you, bro. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> We're cracked on the perch grinders. Huge perch grinders. Hogs. Hogs for days. Yeah, I shall. You shall. fish on it. That's a nice wake up call, Ace Weird. Dude, I said you'd have at least like eight times before you woke up. Well, my guy Sweary is correct. Later. Well, guys, it's been about three hours, and uh, I stopped filming because we stopped marking things after about nine. You saw Sweary catch that last fish, which was cool. Then I got kind of bored. I hopped around outside for some perch. I caught three off camera. And then Carter caught one and he's like, come over, there's a bunch. So we went over there and we literally caught 11 fish in two minutes. It was one after another. Carter would catch one, I would drop down. He'd reel one up, um, I'd reel one up. Like just repeatedly for 11 times. And that school was mega. So I think for the remaining of the day, we're just gonna hop around and do some fishing. But this is where I'm gonna end today's video because number one, this video has been what, four days worth of content. And I just kinda wanna have some fun with my friends and not film, not to worry about doing that stuff. But yeah, had an awesome time coming here. This is definitely the move coming back to our hometown rather than staying at Fort Peck. Fort Peck was really, really brutal. Um, but that's how it is sometimes, you know, it is what it is. So let me just show you guys what we'll be doing. We have the Jackery solar panels out, charging the Jackers inside so we can charge stuff for tonight. If we end up staying tonight, we just haven't decided if we're gonna stay one more night out here or not uh, because we have been living on the ice for the last like week, it feels like. But check out the haul of fish that we got. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is what we got right now. My Jay Sweary is just chilling. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. This may be one of the last ice fishing videos. I did hear the Fox River opened up and we might start doing some camping and open water fishing. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what type of videos do you guys wanna see this spring. I'm really curious, last spring, you guys kind of liked it, kind of didn't like it. So I want to hear what you guys want to see. If you want to see me and Sri on a nitro catching giant walleyes, let me know. If you want to see me like grinding on the shore or in waders, also let me know. But yeah, this was a pretty good ice fishing season. I just want to say thanks for sticking around and watching all of our content. It was a lot of fun, but it's about time to move on from this. I'm getting a little bit sick of the short rods and I'm ready to bust out the long rods. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and we will catch you guys on the next one.